your tired and bring your shame bring your guilt and bring your pain don't you know that's not your name you will always be much more than me every day i wrestle with the voices that keep telling me i'm not right but that's all right cause i hear a voice and he calls me
Hey, welcome to Simple Church Online and thank you for tuning in today. My name is Russ and I am one of the pastors here at Simple Church. Um, I guess I'm what you could call the founding pastor of Simple Church. Uh, but more importantly, you're probably all asking the question, uh, number one, where, where are you? <laughs> and number two, why are you dressed like that? And hopefully by the end of this video, that will all make sense. Anyway, I said that I, I could be referred to as the founding pastor. A little over 11 years ago, I had this, uh, this idea uh, to start a church, uh, different than any church that I had been a part of in the past. And up to that point, I had been a youth pastor, a pastor of student ministries, an assistant pastor, an associate pastor, a teaching pastor, um, all these different titles at a few different places. And then I came to a spot in my journey where I felt like uh, I felt like God was nudging me to start or what some people call plant a church. Uh, the first thing I did is I began to pray and ask God for some help and direction. And since it was just myself and my wife, um, I figured, you know what, we're going to need a lot of help and a lot of direction. So I approached three Christian businessmen that I knew. The interesting thing is, none of these men had ever met the other one. They didn't know each other. I had a different relationship with each one of them, all separate. And uh, I felt like those were the guys that I needed to go talk to. And I went one by one and I pitched my idea to them. Um, if you want to use a churchy word, you could say my vision or, or a mission statement. It was an idea, an idea that I believed was 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 prompted to me, birthed to me, given to me, whatever word you want to use. I believe that God was nudging me with this idea. So I went to each one of these men separately and I sat down and I pitched the idea. And at the end of my pitch with each one of them, I said, the reason I'm talking to you is I've been in church work at that time for, gosh, probably around 20 years, but I don't know anything about the business side. I don't know how to do the finances. I don't know financially what it takes to do a church. There, there's legalities that I, I'm not familiar with. And I know that each of you um, are a successful Christian businessman. I know that you love God. I know that you love your families. I know that you love God by loving people, that you are wise, that you are compassionate, that you are generous. Uh, they had all the characters that I was looking for. and. Uh, I pitched the idea to each of them and said, I would like you to be on the board of directors and help start and launch this thing. To my utter amazement and surprise, each one of those men said yes. And we launched Simple Church. Uh, the first several years, we went from uh, location to location to location. 
We leased from another church for a while. Uh, we rented our own space for a while. That space was for sale and it sold, so we rented another space. There was a period of time where, where the uh, Metro Baptist Association of St. Louis gave us a spot to use, which was so incredibly generous of them. And uh, so we kind of bounced around, and as we bounced around, we continued to grow. And then we eventually landed here, where I'm at today, on our campus in Hazelwood, Missouri. Simple Church, 1020 Anglum in Hazelwood. When we landed here, we were renting this spot from the church next door. And after a few years of being a renter, we approached them and worked out a deal and we actually purchased the building. Now, if you're a part of Simple Church and, and maybe you just couldn't make it to the live service today and you're watching online, you're like, wait a minute, that doesn't look like our church. I'm probably in a spot, a location, a room in our church that you've never been. This is kind of the behind the scenes room. It's a, a pretty good sized warehouse area where we store things and we work on set designs and projects back here. Uh, the reason I'm dressed like this is we've been busy for the last couple days cleaning it up and um, getting it ready for something. Uh, so back to what I was talking about, the, these men said yes, and, and, and here we are, 11 plus years later. Um, still, two of those men still with us serving, which is incredible for, for over 11 years on, on the board of directors. Uh, when we were, right when we purchased this building and we were in the middle of a building project, that thing, that thing that we don't even like to bring up called COVID hit. And it just began to cripple churches all around our area that were our size and even larger. And by the grace of God and the generosity of our attenders, we ended up making it through COVID. And fast forward to where we are today. I think the whole COVID thing, the, the economy, inflation, everything has finally began to catch up with us and with our attenders here at Simple Church, and, and we are in a tight spot right now. And the reason I'm back here in this storage area, and the reason we've been such hard at work back here is we were cleaning out an area. Uh, we, we have a friend, uh, he has a relationship with us through, through the church here, and he's a local businessman, and he needed a spot for a few months to store some things, maybe six, seven, eight, maybe, maybe 12 months to just store a few items. And he said, hey, man, I'd love to, you know, just give a donation to your church, and, and you guys let me store some stuff there. So we immediately began to move things out and, and get that ready. Um, we're back here working. The reason I wanted to talk to you today, people who we call onliners, maybe you've been watching us online since 2020 when we started putting our services online, and, and maybe you've never been. And, and number one, I, I want to thank you for watching. We, we do consider you part of our church family, even if you've never darkened the door. The fact that you tune in Sunday after Sunday, um, we appreciate it. We, we consider you part of the family. Uh, and we, we want to let you know where we're at. We are in a very, very crucial tight spot right now at Simple Church. Um, things are incredibly tight. We have tightened every single area we can, and yet we find ourselves here. So we're asking this Sunday in our live service for any of our members who can to, to give more. And, and maybe some people who are here that ha have never started giving, we're, we're asking them to, to jump on board and begin to give. And we wanted to give you an opportunity, our onliners, uh, give you an opportunity to give and to sow into this ministry, this thing called Simple Church. Um, we're passionate about it. I mean, we, we are giving our lives for it. And we would like to ask you if there's anything that you could do to help out financially, please jump on board and help us continue with this mission and this call that we believe God has given us. Uh, I've got my work clothes on because I'm back here working and we're asking you to maybe roll up your sleeves and, and do some work. 
You know, I could give you the old scenario. Hey, if you're a Starbucks person and you just gave up, you know, five Starbucks trips during the week, uh, that would be 20. It might even be 40 now with inflation that, that you could give towards the church. If there's something you can do, I want to ask you today to go to our webpage. Simply hit the donate button and it will walk you through all the steps. You can give online. You can send something into the church. Uh, one of the things that, that we've kind of... Uh, prided ourselves in, for lack of better ways to say it, is we're not a church that you hear asking for money a lot. Uh, when we did our building program and purchased this building, we went before our congregation and said, listen, we feel like it would be better for us to own this building versus renting it. So we're going to pass out cards. And we passed out little index cards to everybody at church that Sunday. And we said, what we want you to do is go home, pray about this, think about this, look at your budget, and then we want you to figure out what could you give over the course of the next year. And then we want you to write that down and bring it next Sunday. We specifically said, we don't want you to, to write a faith check. By that, I mean a check for something that you don't have. We don't want you to give us a, a, an amount that you just think you could give or you want to give, or you're hoping you could give, or even you're praying you could give. We want you to write down a legitimate amount that you can give over the course of the next year. Don't write your name down. Don't write your address down because we don't keep track of who gives. At Simple Church, we don't look who's giving, when they're giving, what they're giving. What you give is your business. It's between you and God. We threw that out there and uh, it was incredible because we didn't have these large amounts that, that, that weren't really going to happen. We had true amounts. A lot of people said over the course of this, this next year, I can give you know $1,000 or I can give $500 or I can give $50. And almost every single one of those pledges on those cards came in and we were able to purchase the church. Since then, there's only been a couple times where we said, hey, we have a specific need and, and we've presented it. And now here we are. I hate, I do with a passion, I hate asking for money. But right now, we're, we're in a tight spot. Uh, you're probably in a tight spot at home. Our country is in a tight spot right now. And we're simply asking you to pray and to seek God. And if there's something you can do over the course of the next year, please begin to do that. Help us continue what we're doing. Today, in our series, in our live service, we are looking at John, the 15th chapter. And I want to encourage you today to read John chapter 15. In John 15, Jesus makes the statement that he is the vine and that we are the branches. He gives this analogy that we need to stay connected to him. One of the ways we stay connected is through scripture. One of the ways we stay connected is through prayer. And we believe that another way, a good way to stay connected is with fellowship with other believers, like-minded people. And in saying that, I wanna invite you again to come check us out on a Sunday morning. We meet here, not right here in our building, we meet back there in the sanctuary. It's a lot nicer, I promise. We'd love to see you on a Sunday morning. We're there every Sunday at 10 a.m. Um, if you come, you know, grab myself or JJ or Kevin, um, we are the staff members here, grab one of us and say, hey, I, I watch online and today's my first time and I just wanted to come and check you guys out. We'd love to meet you, shake your hand, see if there's anything we can do for you. We have a coffee bar. We have so many of our members, they, they show up early, somewhere between 9 and 9.30 on Sunday morning and they just hang out in the coffee bar. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to say this or not, but Every Sunday in the coffee bar, we have free food. I mean, you could eat breakfast for free. Bring a friend. L let them know about Simple Church and be a part of what God's doing right here in St. Louis County. Hey, thank you again so much for tuning in. I hope and pray that you have a great week. God bless you.